so uh, in his early childhood, um, we did start to notice that he started developing musical skills. And he had a lot of interest towards uh, music. Uh, we figured this out once he uh, started making music with the, with the table. He started banging his head on the table and it, and it made a good beat, you know. It was beautiful. All right, uh, this is where he lived uh, when he moved out just a while ago. He, uh, he always used to come over here. He'd, uh, I think he'd sleep uh, right around the corner, right here. Yeah, right here. His kitchen was uh, right there, and his bathroom was right over there. So, very, very cool home, you know. I'd visit him one, once in a while. He'd make some, some food, yeah. His home does bring a lot of memories to me. Uh, I remember we used to play uh, baseball, like, right over there. And uh, funny thing that he moved just right behind it, so that's kind of cool. I guess he can play baseball whenever he wants. But uh, he, he, he was depressed, you know. He, he didn't have a good job. He worked at McDonald's, and uh, that's kind of it. Well, uh, my brother told me he, uh, he was a part of the Vietnam War. He was uh, in the army and he helped out and everything. But uh, I don't think he was, you know. Like, I, f I find it really weird. Because he's got all these weird battle scars. He calls them battle scars. Um, I'm pretty sure it's just him, like, cutting himself for some reason to prove that he's actually been in the Vietnam War. But uh, that's his problem.